We're going to do a brief video on Ford stock, Ford stock news. And we've got a daily chart up here on Ford with three moving averages. The green's a five day, the red's a 20 day, and the blue is a 200 day moving average. Let's scan back here just a little bit. We see that Ford put in the top in January of 22, 2022 at about, what is that, roughly $24, $25? No, 20, yep, about $25. And um, broke down through the 200 day moving average and started a bear market at the, around the end of March. We can see Ford is still below the 200 day moving average, this blue line here. We can note first that this 200 day moving average has gone flat. It's flat. And we see the price entered into a bear market around March, end of March. Went down, put in a good low down here at about 10 bucks, a little more than $10, and rallied right back up to the 200 day and bounced off of it. That happened uh, the middle of August, August 16th or so, at about $16 plus. And if we scan forward to today, we can see several things that happened. The first thing is we bounced off the 200 day. We had this gap here to the downside. Pretty good gap for Ford. Ford's not a big time gapping stock. It does have a few gaps in here. But we put in a gap, we've moved sideways. We failed to penetrate the 200 day moving average at all with a close. And um, we've now price is now broken down between the below the 200 day moving average, the 20 day moving average, and currently even below the five day moving average. So Ford potentially could put in a move down here towards $13 roughly uh, in say the next two weeks, maybe week and a half to two weeks. Uh, that wouldn't be unreasonable, all for entertainment purposes only, all of my opinion. It could put in a slight little bottom around here around $14.50 and then rally up for another test of the 200-day moving average, probably around the $16 range by the end of September. That's another possibility. Right this second, it's hard to say one way or the other, but technically the stock's in a bear market and is technically not in a downtrend, but is trending down uh, based on its moving averages. I would definitely not be an aggressive uh, trader here one way or the other, but this is my opinion. So we've got to kind of give Ford a little bit of time and see what it's going to do. Ford's a great company, great stock, but it is technically right now a little bit iffy to go one way or the other. Let's go down and see what RBM Research says about it. The daily range is 1524 and 1484 is the low. And for Ford, our one day is 1484, which is right on the bottom. So our one day buy is right at the bottom. Again, these are for entertainment purposes only. You have to do your own research, but you're in the money a little bit. If you like the money, you made a few cents so far today. And the rest of these are five day hold, 20 day hold, slightly higher prices. Uh, you to go back up here and take a look and see. Those would all be in the money slightly, just barely slightly. I think the 20 days not quite there yet. But it's almost there. So um, it looks like our algorithmic trading systems are saying stocks are short-term buy here. And uh, let's go down and take a look and see what our trend following system says. This is a beta system that's not out yet publicly, but I'll show it to you real quick. This comes out every day, Monday through Friday, once we get it up. It's not up yet. But this is a standard uh, trend following system using moving averages, and it's a 30-day hold. And for today, it's saying to short forward at around 15, 15 seconds, which is not hit yet. So interesting uh, look at how these algorithms work. Some of our algorithms are saying go long short term on these uh, low prices, and some of them are saying go short if Ford rallies up a little bit. And that's basically my technical analysis that I gave to you earlier. It's a little bit iffy one way or the other, but that's what the algorithms are saying. Uh, if you like these algorithms, you'd like to see them more for entertainment purposes only, you can get them for absolutely nothing, free, no credit card required, every morning before 7 a.m. at rvamresearch.com. We cover 190 stocks. They're long only. Keep in mind that that trend following system I showed you is not yet out, but we do have the long only prices I showed you earlier. We also have the major forex pairs, which are longs and shorts, crypto, which are long and shorts, and the most liquid futures contracts, longs or shorts, every day before 7 a.m. You can get them all for free at rvamresearch.com. There's a link in the description below. You just go there, sign up, and you can get them. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that. If you have a comment on how we can make these videos better, please leave it in the comment selection below. We'd like to hear from you. And keep in mind that everything you've heard or seen on here is for entertainment purposes only, including our trading prices. It's all entertainment and it's all uh, opinion. And you have to trade at your own risk with your own analysis. And keep in mind, again, you definitely do trade at your own risk.